barnacles like that above the bridge, you know it's salty. Some years we don't get any barnacles up here. Can't even get another barnacle on there. Look at that. I mean, just solid. Hey, look at that. Oh, a sea bass up here is a little bit bigger one. I don't know if I ever seen them. I don't know if I ever seen this far north to see sea bass. It tells you how salty the water is. Look how beautiful that fish is. Look at the glue up under his eye and all. What a neat fish. How big do they get? They get big. They get, uh, yeah, I don't know about that big. Look at that. Look at under his eye. How yeah, cool that is. Yeah, it's kind of like a sunny. And then the blue, he's got all the blue down in his in his things, too. Pretty. I'm trying to, I mean. Yeah, I put that in my fish tank. He's getting ready to shed his shell. He's starting to pop out. You got a bucket. We call him Lefty. I think that's maybe a black bullhead or something. I think there's two types of bullheads. And it's strong. I think that's what it is. But he's, he has no eye and, and looks like he never did. Born without an eye. Living a dream. He don't care. That's pretty crazy. Doesn't even, it literally doesn't look like it ever even grew. That's wild. Look at that. Huh. Get a plethora of catfish here on Chesapeake Bay. The only native catfish is a white catfish. And, and the brown bullhead, which is what this is. So that's a native fish. They like a little fresher water. Um, it's like the same kind you catch in like a pond and something like that. Like that. Channel catfish are not native. Uh, nope. And uh, now we got the blue cats and the flathead. White tip mud crab or a Harris crab, I think it is. All the, all the bigger they get. Bait stealer. We'll get in there and eat the bait. A little male. Channel catfish. Yeah. White catfish. What is that channel? Brown bullhead. They got big heads. Big giant black heads. Look at that. Honey looks like the heads are so big. Last week's episode, we saw the female. Now you get to see the male with his boxing gloves. That hooks on to the female. He's got nasty, nasty looking. He needs to shed his shell. It's like a, you can see here, you can see where it actually scrapes off. It's a coral, a type of coral, yeah. Like a, it doesn't, I mean, that's all it really gets is, as you can see there, the normal shell to. Nah, it's this brackish. You can 
can see here on the ends where it's kind of like pots in other places grow that scale like that on it. She probably either sick or can't really move much or something to get it get it walked off. You, yeah, there he goes. Now he stopped. Don't go. Don't go now. Don't go for this way. There's some fish eggs. Came out of a toadfish that was dead in the pot. So here's a really big pipe fish, probably a northern. Look at the tail. How flat his tail is. That's cool. Usually you don't stick it out. Look at now he's completely flat. They got a big, big fin on the back here. I think they said the, uh, the duskies have a smaller fin. The northerns have uh, have a bigger fan. Here's that soft crab we got the video of coming out of its shell. You can see how he's grown and he hasn't filled all the way in yet so he'll he'll grow even a little bit bigger so you can see he's probably grown about a half inch or so maybe something like that. You can see here where he was missing a claw and then after the shed he's regrown it. Here you can see the claw. This claw is smaller than that claw because he just regrew it. This right here is where you want. You want them to come out of the shell and go right in the frying pan. You can see how wrinkly it is, how soft. It's just like butter. And then as that crab gets harder and harder, it'll it'll turn into like a paper shell, and then it'll it'll get back to be a hard crab. But that's the process. The crab will regrow everything. The eyes, the the legs, I mean everything. And that's how a crab grows.
where that crab, where he was kind of wrinkly back here. He's filled in, he's nice and firm all across here and he's starting to firm up a little bit and there's the shell that he came out of. So that's what he was and what he, what he went, what he became. After they shed, they'll go find some place to hide because they're, especially the small ones, but any size are perfect, you know, for fish to eat or other crabs to eat. So he'll go, he'll go hide somewhere, find a stick or log so he doesn't get eaten uh, until he firms up enough where he can pinch again and kind of defend himself. It takes about probably 12 hours, 15 hours for him to get real, you know, hard to where he'll, he can bite again. So it's pretty quick. He only has to hide for a little while and then he's back to hard again. So as long as the crab is out of the water, his shell will stop hardening. So when you take them, we take them out of water, put them in the refrigerator, they'll stay alive. Their shell will stop getting hard. Uh, they'll stay soft to where, where you want to eat them for a couple days. He got a free ride up the bay.